Hey, what's up, everybody? Spike Man Dan coming at you live. All right, so I looked up a bunch of reviews on YouTube on how to bypass the governor on the Coleman CT100U. And the kids online, I've seen a few videos to where they actually did it the hard way. See, what they ended up doing is they ended up removing this whole outer case of the engine. They took this plate right here off, and they there's a gear. I don't know if you could see it, but that little bolt right there. There's a gear inside the engine that's called the governor, and it what it does is once the engine gets up to a certain RPM, when you have the throttle all the way engaged, this little lever right here will actually pull the throttle back when it gets to a certain RPM. And what you can see what I did here is I took off the original throttle linkage and then I got a coat hanger, which you can see here, that's the coat hanger wire. But that's the original throttle linkage. That was originally connected to that hole right there. But as you can see, I bypassed the governor throttle linkage and hooked it directly to the throttle itself. I made that. So now, when I get on the road, there is no slowing down. This thing just goes, goes, goes. So how fast does that go? Uh, I'd say probably about 36 miles an hour now. Hmm. How, how fast did it originally go? Probably about 15, 25. 